We're going to talk about the windlass today. In our case, we're going to talk about my broken windlass today. What is a windlass? A windlass is a big, powerful motor that pulls up your anchor and your chain. This one, in this case, is a 1000 watt, 12 volt Harkin quick windlass. What happened was we were dropping anchor. You have a remote control, press down, and the anchor chain starts feeding out. And when you drop as much as you want, you let go, turns off, except it didn't turn off. It kept going. The first thing we did was shut the engine off. On Lagoon 380s, these are originally connected to the engine and they won't run unless your port engine is running. And this was to prevent people from accidentally running their batteries down because this is a massive energy draw. In our case, we discovered that the port engine did not, in fact, control the power to this because when we shut the port engine off, the chain kept feeding out. Then we're having an oh shit moment, but I know where the breaker is for the windlass. So we ran downstairs, I threw the breaker for the windlass, and it finally shut off. Then we did some diagnostic work, trying to figure out whether it was the remote control, whether it was the engine itself, or whether it was the solenoids. We have the original book for the Harkin windlass. We were really lucky when we bought the boat from the previous owners. They saved everything, both good and bad. I have all the books that I need from for basically every piece of equipment that came with the boat. We did some online searches, we did some diagnostics, we talked to the guy who rewired our batteries for us to get his input with it as well. Here's where we are right now. I'm going to tell you about the most expensive to the least expensive fixes. The most expensive fix is to just get a new one of these and that's about $3,000. I don't want to do that. This has plenty of life left in it. Last year I had all of the motor parts maintenance. It's in great shape. That's not what I want to do. The second option is to have the company that does a lot of my repairs that I can't do come out and take it with them, repair it at that place. That's a thousand dollar option. The next option is to find the original solenoids which are 20 years old and they're made in Italy. I finally managed to source them. They are $350 each, not including shipping. So that's $700. I did some more research. The next thing I discovered is that there is a new kind of reversing solenoid that is specifically made for the Harkin winches. That one is anywhere from $200 to $138. Found a cheap one on Amazon for $138. It's currently lost in the mail because I bought it from a slightly sketchy seller. If that doesn't get here by tomorrow, I'm just going to buy it at a more reputable dealer. Then we're going to take this is plastic. We're going to take the back of this off. We're going to take the old solenoids off. We're going to put the new solenoid in. Hopefully it'll be fine. The more you learn about the, your boat, the more you recognize that there are things you can do and you know, things you can't do. This had happened to us three years ago. I probably would have bought a new one. If this had happened to us two years ago, I probably would have had the guys come and take it and fix it at their place. But now we feel pretty confident about being able to replace the solenoid in the windlass ourselves, or at least take a whack at it. Stick with us. We will show you our progress. See you out there.